So let's say, particularly this clip over here, and one of the reasons I picked it is it's kind of dull and ugly, isn't it? I mean, honestly, that, that's not a pretty clip. Um, let's make this clip look a little better. So let's do just a little bit more of effects. I'm going to go here, once again, go over here in the effects. If you've, not got, if you've got media browser or something open, click on effects, the little effects tab here. I'm going to type in uh, B-R-I-G-H-T for brightness contrast. Now, there are a ton of different ways you can correct, correct color and brightness. I do this for, I would say for beginners, this is maybe, maybe the easiest way to do it. You can do brightness, uh, brightness contrast. And what I did, I pulled that little, that's a little plug in there or filter, and I pulled it onto the video that I want to affect. Just this clip here is what I'm trying to affect. That's what this is. So I'm going to type in now, I'm going to type in fast, F-A-S-T. And I'm wanting to get fast color corrector. So I'm going to go down here and I see fast color corrector. I'm going to pull fast color corrector onto this as well. Now I've got two effects on here and you see nothing happen over here, have you? It's like, Tony, well, what, how'd you affect that at all? Well, I'll show you what, you, what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to effects controls and up here. And now you see the effects you've had. Here's your brightness contrast. So let's say I want this to be just a little brighter. So I'm going to see, see here I can totally brighten this up. Uh, maybe that's too much, but I don't know. I'm going to add a little contrast back in too, just give it some some drama. And I want these greens to be greener, so I'm going to go down here. The reason I brought Fast Color Corrector in is it's got a nice saturation button down here. I'm going to twirl this little thing down. You don't have to. You can go over, hold over the 100 here, and you see it gives you a little left and right thing. You can just cl left click on this and pull the saturation up. Look at that. Now those greens start to get a lot richer looking down. You can go way up with the saturation. Well, that looks pretty cool. I mean, I, I kind of like that. That looks decent. Now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I call it twirling. I'm going to click on this little arrow here beside Fast Color Corrector. I'm going to twirl it up. I'm just going to close it up. If you want to see your controls again, you can do that. And this color wheel, we'll discuss what this color wheel is for again too in a future video. It just did an auto save. So I'm going to twirl it up. I'm going to twirl my brightness contrast up. I'm just going to show you the difference. So keep an eye over here. If you want to turn your brightness contrast off, you just click on this little FX, watching it toggles it off. It's a little less bright. Cause there we go. Now it's there. It's a little darker. Now it's uh -oh, what am I doing? Ah, come on now. Uh oh, there we go. Now we got our. We, now it's on. Now it's off. Now it's on. Now it's off. So you can see the difference there. Let's look at taking off our saturation. Now it's gone. Now it's on. Much more Technicolor kind of a uh, color. There we go. It's the old dull one. There's one that looks much better. Okay, so let's go forward to our next piece of video and look at that. You know, that looks pretty nice. I don't know that I want to do a whole lot to that. So, you know, if I want to do a fast color corrector or something, I can do that. I think the one I need fast color corrector on more is this one, perhaps. I kind of like to see this saturate a little more. So I'm just going to pull a fast color corrector onto this one. So now when I pulled it onto it, it highlighted that video. And here I can see again in my... Uh, in my uh, color wheel here that I can saturate again. So I'm going to saturate that just a little bit more. And that looks pretty darn nice to me. We're not going to get real fancy about what all we do here. There's all kinds of different hue things we can do. There's all kinds of different uh, white balance things we can do here. I'm going to leave those alone for right now. I just want you to see that you've got some really fast tools that you can use to correct color and make things look a lot more dramatic and nice. So there we go. We have affected the color and we have uh, created our transitions and everything. And so we're ready to move on to the next step.